Let's be honest. We don't know anything about our elected officials. They're hidden behind curated social media profiles and press releases to the point that they often seem barely human. We're here to break down those barriers and get under the hood of their real character. Our guests today are Rupande Mehta and Richard Torkrin, candidates for Freeholder in Morris County. My name is Scott Salmon, and this is Politically Driven. Hello. Hey there. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very well. It's very nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. You ready to go for a ride? I am ready. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Of course, you got to buckle up, though. Yes, I do. Apparently, <laughs> it's click it or ticket is the, yes. is the rule. So, okay. Yes, that's a good rule. <laughs> you excited? I'm, I'm very excited. Good. My daughter is six, and um, she was waving me goodbye there, and she goes, is Scott a boy or a girl? <laughs> I was like, Scott is a boy. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I would say, if I was a girl, I'd go by Scott Tatcher or Scottina or something like that. <laughs> Scottina would be good. There yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah, Scottina would so be awesome. She's, she's six. Do you, have, do you have any other kids? No. Oh my, God, no. <laughs> oh, my God, She's enough? She's she is a lot. Yeah, she is. She's a handful. Um, it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> if you had to describe her personality in one sentence, what would it be? Exactly like me. <laughs> now, is that a good thing or? <laughs> you have to ask my husband that. <laughs> but she, she's, she's beginning, I'm getting more insight into her. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's beginning, I'm beginning to see that she's thinking like I do. So okay. I'm like, okay, well, I know oh, that you're going to be okay. <laughs> I would say, hopefully you like the way you think. So that's I do, I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan of myself. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is the most uh, politician statement that I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, man. I have to come at that state up front. No, that's good, know? good, <laughs> good. You'll never make it in politics if you don't. Exactly. So that's, that's good to hear. <laughs> yeah, you moved here in 2002. Uh, you were already an adult at that point. Correct. I was um, 21. 21. Okay. So what made you decide to move here? Well, um, many things. The mm -hmm. oh, biggest thing was to get an education, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I was I was very young. Did you go um, to college? Uh, uh, I went to okay. college in India. I did okay. my bachelor's in India. Okay. And uh, I always wanted to come here. Mm -hmm. um, I just, you know, we used to watch Hollywood movies. And right. my friends was my favorite show back then. Okay. And I always saw, you know, how fun it was to live here. You want to be a Rachel? I not, not, Rachel. not really. No, no okay. but I just you know the. <laughs> it, you know what excited me about the whole thing is the food. Have a cheap apartment like they live. <laughs> have, 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 have yeah, yeah, yeah. Never have to pay rent. Yeah, like, right. That's, that's exactly. That mansion that they had, which was. Uh, and I quickly realized that's not. That's the case. not. That Especially not in New York City. No, no, no. Um, um, okay, so but the, but the, the freedom. Uh, yeah, being the freedom more. and you know just being able to. Uh, I've always been sort of you know a little bit different from the rest of my family. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I like to make my own decisions. I don't like people telling me what to do. <laughs> do they, now, do they live, live in India? They all they live can, in okay. India. They okay. all live where, there. Where in India? In Bombay. Okay. In Mumbai. Some people would, sure. you know, chastise me for saying, say, it's Mumbai. <laughs> and I was like, well, I left. It was Bombay. I'm sticking with Bombay. <laughs> That's good, good enough for you. There is no going back. No, I'm not going to call you out on So whatever. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. What good. did your parents think when you said you wanted to move here? So I told my dad when I was 12 that I wanted really? to move here, yes, and uh, he was like, well, you're too young, come mm -hmm. back after a few years. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, kept going back after every few years, and and he was like, well, it's still too young, and then we struck mm -hmm. up a deal. He said, mm -hmm. you know, when I entered my 11th grade, um, he said, finish your bachelor's, mm -hmm. and then at the end of that, if you still want to go, I'll send you. Yeah. So I finished my bachelor's, and I went back, and I was like, I want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, in 2002, I finally came. So now uh, you, went, so you went to school, uh, college in India, and then you also went to school here. I did. I went for my master's. I went here um, for my MBA. I'm curious how the schools compared. Like, what, what, what was it like going to school there, uh, college there, versus getting your master's here? Honest answer? Yeah. It's a lot easier here. Really? Yes. That doesn't surprise me. It, it's very, I mean, comparatively, because we have to, there's a lot of reasons for that, mm -hmm. right? Like, I should explain that, mm -hmm. because there's, there's a lot of people in India, so sure. because of that, it has to be extremely competitive. Right. And the way the system is structured, it's a lot of like the government has, um, you know, it's like this, the board exams, what they call, mm -hmm. they, they, that determines your entry into the next level. So when I was in tenth grade, you know, people like people fight for a point percent. So there are people oh, who get okay. like ninety nine point one. And then there are people who get 99.57 and then the cutoff can be for entry into medical school example it could be 99.52 so you know oh it's, that's how competitive okay. it is right it so really every single down. fraction of a point counts fraction of a point okay. counts right Which that makes sense that when you have that many people that are trying to uh, 
compete for limited spots. Right. That makes, so, that makes sense. Yeah, so I never wanted to go to medical school. Like, that wasn't, I, I, I am very terrible, bad at math. <laughs> so I was like, this is not my thing. I'm not going to go to medical school. I'll, my, I'll do my something sis, else. My sisters are both doctors, and uh, at the same time, I freak out if I see blood on TV or something. <laughs> Or if I just see if I see a needle, I freak out. I yeah. can't. I can't even handle that stuff. So I would. I was never gonna make medical no, school either. No, not me either. No. <laughs> the biggest thing I wanted to do in in you know as a grown up, right, mm -hmm. was to vote. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I wanted. Like that was. I was very. I was very um, attuned to the politics in India. Yeah. And during election time, my dad and I, you know, we would watch the election coverage. Yeah. We would have long conversations about what is right, what is strategy, sort of. Okay. Um, so from, and from when you were young? That, from that when was, I was very yeah. young, yes, we did that. Um, and I always wanted to vote. Um, and I left the voting age in India back then, I don't know if it has changed, but mm -hmm. when I left, it was 22. Oh, really? I left when I was 21. That's so I was so you never got to vote two when months away. Okay. I left in August. My birthday is in October. Right, I right. left two months away. So it was one of the biggest regrets that, that I know, had that I to never vote got either. to vote. Um, so I got to vote for the first time last year. <laughs> uh, last year, as of 2017. 2017. So that was when, that was when you became became a citizen. I became a citizen. All right, there's Rich. Okay, okay. let's let's get him in here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm I'm very, I'm excited for this. For this. Right. How tall are you? I'm six foot two. Six foot two. Okay. I this car right. is this car is right. you're right. right. This car is not meant for you. You know, I'm curious because I've never run on a ticket before. Uh, when you have other other people there, what's it what's it like running with other with other people when it's not just when I, when I ran, it was just I was the only person that had to say say right. anything. It was really my opinion that just right. decided what I was going to campaign on. What's it, what's it been like for the, uh, for the two of you and and with Mary, uh, Darity, to coming up with your message and making sure that you're all on the same page and things like that. I'll, I'll, I had an experience. I ran in 2017 mm -hmm. for state assembly mm -hmm. in District 25 mm -hmm. with Tom Moran and Lisa Pavani, and we ran a joint ticket then so I sort of went through the learning curve with that you know right. um so what I was able to bring to the table was that that, that experience, experience right? right and right. so there uh I think it's awesome to run with the team yeah right I mean you obviously have pros and cons mm -hmm. with it but the pros sure outweigh the cons okay because um you tend to get into this little bit of a like a tunnel mm -hmm. with your own thoughts or yeah. like right. a vacuum and it's nice to have somebody else to bounce That's those ideas off, off. And you know, all three of us as candidates kind of bring some unique something, things something too. Different. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so our backgrounds are diverse. Mm -hmm. uh, we live in different areas of the the county. Mm -hmm. uh, we've all been in the uh, the county for different periods of time. So mm -hmm. we do bring um, a good mix, is what I like to think, mm -hmm. to it. But yeah, there are challenges with running a, a joint ticket because you do have you are sort of. Uh, Responsible to the other people as well. Sure, yeah. Right. Right. So the it's, messaging has to be comfortable for all the other right, candidates. Right. And if you have one person that's slacking off or not or not, or not pulling and pulling their weight, that could that could cause issues. So everyone yeah, imagine has it, to be yeah, like as, as committed. Yeah. 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 I mean, there could be an attention, but you know, mm -hmm. you've got a county that's almost five hundred thousand people, mm -hmm. three hundred and fifty thousand registered voters. Mm -hmm. 39 towns it's nice to have other people to share that right. the, the weight share the load share the load, yeah, share yeah. The load. absolutely yeah. my next question is going to be if if you win and you're the, uh, you're the first uh, democratic uh, free uh, freeholders in 40 years mm -hmm. and you can only attribute it to one thing what would you attribute it to oh my good looks <laughs> Clearly, that's 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 it. That's I mean, we're, we're a good-looking team. I mean, yeah. that's what it is. There's got to be more than that. I mean. Hey, pol politics is perception. Is, it, is there anything specific in mind that, of what the free, the current freeholders do that that makes you want that made you want to run? There's a general lack of transparency in all the operations that they have going on. You know, okay. there is there is no accountability. They don't get along with each other, mm -hmm. and you know, it's one of those things where if you're not even going to be able to talk to the other person, how are you able to pass decisions right, to, represent. Uh, to represent the county? There's mm -hmm. there's decisions that really don't make s much sense. I mean, you know, the, the example for that would be the courthouse decision that there's a hundred and six million dollar proposal that's currently being, you know, just the one, the, the Morris County Court correct, press that they want right. to Right, being considered by the board of freeholders, but then they went out there and they spent three hundred thousand dollars on constructing a, a new entrance already. So it's just, it's okay. just like you know, not thought out completely. Mm -hmm. You know, like somebody like Rich would be like, no, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, 
just this right. not how you spend the money so it's just it just some common sense to okay. you know bring back that sort of stuff into into our government i want each of you to tell me what each other's spirit animal would be oh my god like his what, spirit animal yeah what, what is per, what the per, <laughs> what the other person's personality is in an in some sort of animal i would say monkey for um, why, why monkey because monkeys are smart, okay, and monkeys good, are that's fun. A good, that's a good say. A good yeah. uh, say. So I have yeah. to start with that, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> well, no, but I also because monkeys are fun, you mm -hmm. know, like they and and that's how I look at Rich. Rich mm -hmm. is very smart, yeah. but you know, he he's extremely funny. Yeah. So I think a monkey is a good fit for Rich. Also loves bananas. Loves, just, I, I do you love bananas. <laughs> I do now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, now, Rich. I want you to describe uh, Ramande for uh, uh, what her uh, her spirit or her spirit animal. animal I would have to say like a. Uh, like a tiger okay i mean she's very fierce and determined mm -hmm. and um if you've ever heard her speak right. you know you get this sense that um she's very strong-willed mm. you know that's a good one that's a good well, one thank you i You're didn't welcome. pay him to say that for the record <laughs> if you did yeah. you'd have to disclose yeah. as a campaign yeah, contribution so true. <laughs> gotcha. now what, what, what kind of books do you try to collect what do you look for? Well, I've been called a hoarder. I think I might be. I'm like that borderline. I like yeah, what's to pick the up a I was say, what's the difference between a collector and a hoarder? A perspective. It's all oh, yeah, a perspective. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I like, uh, I'm a modern fiction, uh, science and math, and then some history. What do you mean like science and math? What kind of, I've been like, like textbooks or? No, I'm like lore, uh, like there's a Dover publishing that puts out a lot of math books on different okay. like stuff. And uh, so finance stuff, uh, you know, Stuff on stock markets, okay, and stuff okay. like that. You know, I'm a little. So you're looking for like you're looking for like an original like Ben Graham intelligent investor. I have one, but not original. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Interesting. I mean, it's tough. Like it, you know, the pricing has gone through the roof. I yeah, mean, I'm sure. my desires are nowhere near what my income level. Is. I mean, <laughs> it was was your family particularly political, or is it just they they happen to be Republicans? They were they they were just happened to be Republicans. I mean, okay. they were aware they weren't active, um, you know, in any capacity. They voted, you know. I mean, my were, parents. Were you guys like discussing politics at the dinner table, or? Not yeah, really? I think we would talk the issues more than maybe even the politicians. Okay. And do you think they uh, they would have ever thought you that you would run for office? No, no, no. And so that you know, it's funny you're saying. Like, I mean, if you think about it, me as a child, yeah. right? Uh, I am. Uh, I didn't pick the most glamorous profession. Yeah, really. In town, you know. Yeah. yeah. So they didn't have a lot to worry about, really. <laughs> you know, uh, they. I think they're a little surprised about. I mean, my my dad's passed, so mm -hmm. my mother's uh, definitely surprised about my activism. Right, right. right. Uh, in it, uh, my two sisters. I have two sisters that mm -hmm. they they definitely appreciate it and have been supportive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's been interesting for them because it's not something that. Like I said, we were aware, but right. there's that next level. Yeah, change, change, the change topics a little bit. The, I don't know. I can't imagine there are any kids out there that, when they're 10 years old, that say, you know, I really want to be a forensic accountant. <laughs> what What did you think you wanted to do when you? Oh, were, when I you wanted to up? work for the CIA. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's definitely. cool. Well, how come you didn't? They 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 could use forensic accountants. I uh, the income. <laughs> By the time I got the experience where mm -hmm. I thought it would be. Something I could do. Um, oh, wait, wasn't that an, wasn't that a movie with like Ben Affleck where he's like a friend yeah, accountant? Yeah, I don't, know, I don't, I do any of those things. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> every accountant in the world should have went to see that movie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was that tough.